Hello boys, my name is Texturman and today we are going to finish this automotive visualization. In the first part we create lightning and camera view and in the second part we are going to create all the materials. If you haven't seen the first part, I highly recommend it to watch it. If you want to download this 3D model, link is in the description and big thanks to the designer RexFu who shared this model for free. Thank you man, let's finish this render. Let's create our first material, which is the car paint. So we are going to our material library. We are going to scroll down to find paint metallic. We are going to use this paint metallic black. Just drag and drop this material. And this material is too much shiny. So we need to edit this material a little bit more. Double click. And we are going to make it a little bit darker as the base color and a little bit brighter. This metal color. So maybe like this. All right, and I'm going to make it a little bit more rough, but I'm not going to use this roughness. I'm going to introduce this clear code roughness value. So maybe a little bit like this. All right. And also I'm going to increase this refractive index value. And if I'm going to push this slider too much, you can see this car looks like a metal, but we are just going to use a little bit more. So 1.65 is all right. And I'm going to decrease this roughness of this base color. And I'm going to increase this metal coverage right here. And you can see it's happening. We got a little bit more metallic effect. So maybe like this or maybe like this. Yeah, this is actually really nice. All right, I'm going to stick with this one. Now we can start working on this rim material. So again, I'm going to use the same material as the base. All right, double click on this rim material and we are going to make it completely black, a little bit more brighter, just a little bit. All right, and I'm going to increase this metal coverage a little bit more and I'm going to decrease this metal roughness and I'm going to use a little bit of this clear coat roughness, just a little bit. All right, this is really nice. And also I'm going to increase this refractive index value. And this is our rim material, which is very simple. Next material is gonna be the tire. So go to the camera, free camera, just make it closer. Right click on your mouse, show only. So we got visible just this tire and we got a little bit more faster preview. I'm going to type here the tire material, drag and drop. As you can see, this is pretty good material as it is, but I need to make it a little bit more dirty, a little bit more realistic. So double click on this tire, go to the material graph, and now I'm going to bring my texture. All right. And I'm going to bring this texture to my roughness. I'm going to double click on this texture and press C on my keyboard so I can see what's happening. I don't, I'm not going to use this DPI for size. I need centimeters, make it smaller. And I'm going to make this texture much more brighter and I'm going to decrease the contrast and I'm going to press C on my keyboard again and you can see it looks much more realistic. I'm going to duplicate this texture. So I'm going gonna press out on my uh, keyboard and just drag and drop. I'm going to bring this texture to the bump slot and you can see we got like this like these real effect of the scratches and i'm going to double click on this texture i'm going to make this one and one as before and yeah and i'm going to change a couple things so maybe i'm going to introduce a little bit more brightness actually no i'm going to play with this bump height value and make it much more lower because this is like too much even more lower actually maybe like this and this looks really good. Now we need to create something like the text effect on the side. So I'm going to bring again this tire texture, just drag and drop. I'm going to make this as the label or the layer. So now if I'm going to change this material, you can see the whole tire is changing. So we need to make the opacity for this text and I got texture for this. So just bring this texture. And we are just going to drag this to our opacity channel. All right. And I'm going to click on this tire and I'm going to make it red. 
All right. And I'm just going to click on this texture, sorry, on this material, go to the texture and I'm going to use this texture as alpha. And you can see we got a little bit different mapping. So I'm going back to my texture and I'm going to use the part. I'm going to choose the planner moon texture. I'm going to use this X um, axis. All right. And we need to scale this texture a little bit down. So maybe like this even more, sorry, even, even up. So maybe like this, and you can see we got this effect, which is this repeating. So I'm going to turn this repeating off and now we can just work with this one. So maybe like this. Even more. Yeah, this looks really good. And now we need to change this color back to the black. So maybe like this. All right, so completely black. And also I'm going to make this even darker. So maybe like this. All right. And I'm going to change this to make it a little bit more shiny. And a little bit more plastic. So. Yeah, and it looks really nice and it was simple. So yeah, this is our tire texture. So I'm going to press the show all part and I'm going back to my camera. And yeah, this is the tire and it looks realistic. We need to go closer again to finish these wheels. And I'm going to start with this very caliper. So I'm going to the paint metallic and I'm going to use this orange drag and drop double click on this orange and I'm I need full orange color a little bit more to the red and I'm going to decrease this value as well to make it a little bit more like a rich color so yeah this is nice else I'm going to make this a little bit more orange and I need this metal coverage to be a little bit more and I'm going to decrease this roughness I'm going to use this one as before so maybe like this, and this is all right. For this text, I'm going to use just simple paint metallic black. All right. And for these bolts, I'm going to use the metal rough material. Just drag and drop this material. All right. And for the center cup, I'm going to use the chrome rough material. So I'm going to the metal chrome basic, and I'm going to choose this rough. All right, I'm going to make it a little bit more shiny. And for the center cup, I'm going to use carbon fiber. I already download this material, but if you don't have this material, you can just go to the cloud library. You can go to the materials, you type carbon fiber, and you are going to use this one. Also, this one is really good, but I'm quite often using this one. So just drag and drop this material. And yeah, carbon fiber polish it, drag and drop, double click on this material, and we need to adjust this te texture size. So click on this texture, press C on our keyboard so we can see what's happening and make it a little bit more bigger. All right, this is too much, so maybe like this. And now I need to copy this uh, value to these textures as well. All right, this is very nice. We are going to create something like label on the center cup. So go to the material graph and I'm going to choose this Chrome basic graph again. And I'm going to put this Chrome as the label. So this is the label. And yeah, I need to bring my texture. So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to put this as the color, double click on this material and bring this from the measure to color. And also we need to adjust the mapping types. So press C on our keyboard and we are going to use the planner part, new texture, and we are going to choose the right axis, which is X. Yeah. And it looks really good. I'm not going to use DPI and I'm going to make this one centimeters. This looks good. I'm going to turn off this repeat 
because I don't really need this. And yeah, this is how it looks. It's really nice. Oops, sorry. Yeah, it looks really good with this carbon fiber. Let's finish this wheel and we need to finish these uh, brake caliper disc materials. So press show only again so we can work just with this material. And I'm going to find again metal rough black, which is this one. Just drag and drop, double click, and we are going to make it just a little bit more brighter. All right. And I'm going to bring my texture here. And the first texture is going to be scratches. All right, just drag and drop. And I'm going to bring these to the roughness. All right, I'm going to use color to number. And I'm just going to play with these values a little bit more. So I'm going to increase this one. And this is like too much. So maybe like one. 1.1, 0 0.5, all right, maybe a little bit more, just like this, actually this is really, this is really nice, and now I need my second texture, so I'm going to bring this AM70A, which is radial brush texture, and I'm going to bring this texture to my, sorry, to my bump. All right. And I'm going to press C on my keyboard. I'm going to use the part, turn off this repeat. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to decrease this bump height value to make it just a saddle. All right, maybe like this. A little bit more. And also, I'm going to click on this texture and I'm going to duplicate this one. And I need to combine these to bump map texture. So click on this line, utilities bump add, and now we got more slots. So I'm going to push this, sorry, add this to bump number two, click on this texture. This is like too much. So I need to decrease this bump height value. just like this all right and i'm going back to this and maybe i'm going to play with this value a little bit more all right this is good so show all and yeah, this is how it looks. Yeah, it's really nice. Let's go to free camera, make it closer. We are going to work on this mirror, but before that, I'm going to apply paint gloss material on this lining on the window. So go to the paint, shiny, drag and drop, double click on this material, make it completely black. Now we are going to the downloads. We are going to find our carbon fiber material, polish it drag and drop. You can see the scaling is pretty off. It's too much big. We need to change this texture size. So go to the material graph, press C on our keyboard to see what's happening. And we are going a little bit more down. Actually, like this. All right, we need to apply, sorry, we need to, I'm just going back. And we need to apply these to the other textures as well. All right, it looks good. I also need to combine these two materials together. So this one and this one. So it's the same one. So link these materials. And we need to apply this carbon fiber to another parts. So just drag and drop double click on this material and again we need to adjust the scaling so a little bit more down and 
just like this. We are trying to match the scaling with this mirror so it looks like the same material. Alright. Yeah. It looks like the same size. Let's continue working on this carbon fiber and just drag and drop this material to this side spoiler. Double click on this spoiler. And we are going to change again this size. So maybe like this to make it smaller. All right. Yeah, it looks same as the door and the mirror. Now I'm going to work on this front logo. So I'm going to find the metal, aluminium, basic, sorry, anodized. And I'm going to use this polish it. So drag and drop. And for this, I'm going to use the chrome rough. Drag and drop. Double click on this and make it a little bit more shiny. Let's apply carbon fiber also on the roof. And again, downloads, carbon fiber, polish it, drag and drop. And we are going to adjust the scaling. So I'm going to press it on my keyboard and I'm going down. All right. Maybe like this. This looks good. Yeah, it looks really nice. Let's create materials for this number plate. I'm going to find plastic black texture and drag and drop. Double click on this number plate material, make it a little bit more darker, just like this. And I'm going to open this material graph. You can see we got bump map right here. And that's all right. We need to bring out texture. Just drag and drop. I'm going to duplicate this uh, plastic material, delete this bump map. And I'm going to apply this plastic at, uh, as new layer at label. I'm going to make sure this is in the diffuse. And what I need to change, I'm going to make it a little bit more or less reflective and also a little bit more like a plastic. All right. Now I'm going to click on this texture and press C on my keyboard to see what's happening. And I need the part, planner, move texture, use the correct axis, which is this one. All right. And I'm not going to use DPI as size. And I need to rotate this texture just like this. I'm going to turn off this repeat. And also I need to scale this a little bit more down to make it smaller. And I'm going to bring this texture a little bit more down. So this is too much. So I'm going to type the value. Yeah, this looks nice. And I'm going to click on this uh, number plate. And I'm going to apply this same material on the front. So click. We got two selected. And I'm going to link these materials. As you can see, now I'm going to click on this front. Unlink. So we can um, twist this texture. Double click. Material graph. And we need to, we need to fix this text. Because now, right now it's reversed. Double click on this texture and flip horizontal. That's it. Easy fix. And now we got these bo both number plates. Yeah. Let's create materials for these reflectors. So I'm going to find the glass. And I'm going to use this one. Just drag and drop. All right. I'm going to click on this reflector and I'm going to make it a little bit more red. I'm also going to apply 
chrome rough material to this one so drag and drop no double click on this make it a little bit more shiny all right i'm going to apply carbon fiber for this front spoiler so materials sorry downloads carbon fiber polish it drag and drop double click and we are going to change the scale and make it a little bit more smaller maybe like this all right also apply the same value to other textures yeah it looks the same the scaling as this one let's create material for this back grill and i don't have texture for this part so i'm going to improvise a little bit and i'm going to start with the aluminium actually i'm going right here so aluminium anodize i'm going to use the rough drag and drop double click on this make it a little bit more shiny and we are going to use the texture opacity we are going to use the mesh and we are going to use the hexagon all right we are also going to change this to part and now we are going to play with these with this size so maybe a little bit more down and also i'm going to work with these pattern spacing so maybe like this even more small even smaller and a little bit more up all right and we need to change these these uh mapping type for mesh pattern so hexagonal yeah this looks really nice like the mesh so even less even more i'm just trying to find the sweet spot yeah this looks like the mesh definitely we can also see the engine a little bit i'm also going to apply this texture to this part right here so click on this and this link these materials together yeah it looks good now we can finish these tail lights so i'm going to hide this glass material hide part and i'm going to the light emissive and i'm going to use this emissive cool just drag and drop and if you're going to double click on this material you can stick with the basics and now when i'm going to show all parts it looks like real daylights let's continue working on these headlamps or headlights and i'm going to find glass basic just drag and drop hide this part and we are going to also find glass solid drag and drop this part right here we are also going to use chrome rough material chrome rough material drag and drop right here all right and make it much more shiny and we are going to find paint metallic black so i'm going to the paint folder metallic black drag and drop right here all right we are going to edit this material a little bit more so completely black and even this metal color much more darker just like this this is actually all right and now i'm going to find again this light material actually i'm going to the light folder emissive and i'm going to choose emissive white drag and drop double click on this and we are going to make it a little bit more bluish so maybe like this actually maybe i'm going to choose the area light and i'm going to choose the lumen just a lower value and i'm going to make these a little bit more cooler 
All right. Something to like this. This is good. And for this part right here, I'm going to use the paint rough drag and drop. Actually, no, I'm going to use the shiny. All right. Make it completely black and a little bit more rough. Just like this. Show all parts. And this is our headlamp. All right. Now we can start working on these windows a little bit more and interior. So click on these windows, click on this one, this one, this one, and this one. We are going to find the glass basic, drag and drop. All right. Click on these materials, make this a little bit like this. All right. And I'm going to hide this glass, hide selection. I'm going to apply here glass basic, just drag and drop, hide selection. I'm going to click on this and this. Actually, I'm going to use this one, just drag and drop. All right. Click on this glass, uh, glass basic black. And I'm going to make it a little bit more darker. Just a little bit. All right. And for this, I'm going to use again glass basic, but I'm going to tint this glass a little bit more. So glass basic, double click. And I'm going to make it a little bit more darker. All right. This looks actually good. Now we are going to find the rubber material. Just drag and drop this rubber material to this window ceiling. Double click and we are going to make it a little bit more darker. And also a little bit more this uh, reflection color and a little bit more shiny. Just like this. Texture is good and I'm going to link these materials together. All right. And now I can start working on this interior. We need the Senegal color or Senegal material, which is the leather. And you can find this material again in the cloud library, but I already downloaded it. So Senegal, and I'm going to use Senegal mango. Just drag and drop. All right. And we are going to edit this material a little bit more. So double click on this material and we are going to make it a little bit more shiny just a little bit, go to the material graph, go to the bump map, and we are going to make this bump map just a little bit lower, just a subtle effect. And we are going to adjust this main texture. So color adjust, clean this graph, double click on this, and I'm going to decrease this value of the color and also this contrast to make it a little bit brighter and a little bit, I would say a little bit less color. So it not looks brown, but it looks like light brown color. And for the second materials, which are going to be the black, I'm going to use soft, shiny leather. I also download this material from cloud library. So just drag and drop this material, double click on this material and make sure it's completely black in the base color. A little bit more reflection, just like this. All right. And this is good. 
I'm going to the texture and I'm going to check this bump height and these need to be much more lower because as you can see, I'm going a little bit closer. As you can see, this was like too much. All right, this is like really ugly. So maybe like this. All right, and also we need to change the scaling. So it's gonna be much more smaller. All right, this is for the leather part. And now we are going to add carbon fiber. So I'm going to the downloads and I'm going to find the carbon fiber again, drag and drop this material to this cluster. All right, double click on this material and we are just going to scale this texture again down to make it smaller. And I'm not going to use UV, I'm going to use maybe box mapping type. Yeah, this looks much more better. So maybe like this. And I'm going to use it for all. Sorry, box. Let's finish these materials and I'm just going to make sure this is all right. This is the paint metallic. This is good. This is the plastic paint metallic. All right. This is also good. And this should be plastic, but I'm going to stick with this metallic color because it doesn't really matter if we are going to use the plastic or paint metal. It's just a small part in the interior and I'm going to use the plastic noisy and just drag and drop this material double click on this and yeah we can stick with this as well i'm going to make sure this is completely dark maybe a little bit more brighter all right and i'm going to zoom out a little bit show all parts and yeah this is how it looks so i'm going to back back to my main camera camera front see how it looks it looks all right to me and we finish most of the materials we don't need to finish completely this interior because we are going to render exterior of this car and yeah i'm just going to wait a little bit for the preview to see how it looks the final step is to create a reflection on the bottom just a little bit so go to the edit add geometry add disk i'm going to scale this disk a little bit more so something to like this actually even more 250 300 all right this is good double click on this and i'm going to use this as the ground type all right and i need to be this completely black color this will be a little bit more like a yellow because i need just a little bit this reflection so maybe like this all right yeah this is really good and i'm going to use the roughness and also i'm going to use the slider like this and decrease this value so it looks more like a plastic all right yeah and this is our final render we can start rendering these images and also I'm going to show you we are going to change this lightning preset from basic to product to get a little bit more realistic effect and we also can use this image style if you don't have Photoshop you can use this for final adjustments and you can play with these values a little bit more to make it a little bit more cooler a little bit more contrast but I'm not going to use this I will use I will use uh, Photoshop as retouching and I don't like this lightning right here. This is like too strong effect for me. So I'm going to fix this lightning a little bit and I'm going to find this light. So I'm going to hide all of the part, parts, sorry. And I'm going to bring this one. This is good. This is also good. This one is good. Yeah, this is too much. So I'm going to make it just one 
1.5 yeah yeah this is good and i'm going to turn on all of these lightning yeah this is our final visualization and i'm going to render this so i'm going to the out output png i need 4k resolution i need clown path for final finishing in the photoshop and i'm going to the options i'm going to use the custom control 256 samples 16 ray bounces anti-aliasing free shadow free global illumination free sharp texture filtering and these settings this is like for me most universal settings when i use these settings i always got like high quality without the noise so i'm always rendering with these settings if you got noise you can basically increase the samples and if you need for example create a little bit more smoother image you can play with the anti-aliasing and pixel blur to create a little bit more smooth smoother effect so that's pretty much it so i'm going to render this hdri map in high resolution and now we can just render this image these are the final renders this is the render number one and this is the clown layer or clown pass for editing and now i'm going to show you how you can simply retouch this image and we need to convert this layer to smart object we are going to the filter camera raw filter and we are going to make this image a little bit more cool or a little bit more bluish just like this i'm going to bring this exposure value a little bit more up also the contrast of the image I'm going to bring the highlights a little bit more up, shadows, also the whites, white color, just like this. And I'm going to bring this black a little bit more to the black side, just like this. And also I'm going to bring texture a little bit more up, also the clarity, and this dehaze as well. All right, and you can see how it looks before and after this is the before after now we are going to work with this clown layer and i'm going to select this magic vein tool i'm going to click on the carpet and you can see this whole blue carpet is selected i can hide this layer and i can create the curves and now we got perfect blending and layer mask and we can edit this car paint even more just the car paint not entire car we can make it like dark black or even like silver or chrome all right so i'm going to bring this a little bit more down and a little bit more up right here so we got a little bit more contrast in this car paint and i'm going to select these tires as well and do the same things actually like this all right a little bit more contrast and brightness also, I'm going to edit these headlamps to make it much more brighter. Just like this. And also, I'm going to work with this interior a little bit more. To introduce more light. All right, just like this. And also I'm going to work on this carbon fiber. And I'm going to make it much more darker and bring this highlight a little bit more up. Yeah, it looks nice. And also on this front. All right, I'm trying to decrease this tolerance to precisely like this. All right. And also, I'm going to show you how you can create something like the lights coming from this side. And we are going to select this background. All right. I'm going to use the feather to clean it a little bit more. I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to make these like uh, light blue color 
and I'm going to the paint or the brush. I'm going to make this brush much more bigger and I'm just going to click on this just like this. Okay, this is too much. Maybe like this or this. All right, this is good. And now we can just use this as maybe soft light or hard light, soft light, also the opacity. And we got something like light coming from this side. All right, so it looks a little bit different as well. But I really like it simple, just like this. And this is our final render with retouching. And yeah, it looks good. This is the end of this tutorial. If you want to support this channel, hit the like button and subscribe button, or you can visit my Patreon page and gain access to all the project files. As always, have a nice day and have a nice render. See you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>